What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Crown Tundra DLC VGC moveset guide. There were a lot of, <laughs> there were a lot of like, um, little descriptors there. I, I had to list a lot of descriptors, VGC, Isle of Armor, all, all that stuff, or Crown Tundra. But yeah, today I'm going to be giving you guys a moveset guide on Regieleki. I'm sorry, I'm just so stupid. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give you guys a moveset guide on Regieleki. This thing is a very interesting Pokemon. A lot of people were scared about it. Uh, a leak had said, hey, this thing's going to get 200 base special attack, but no, it's actually only 200 base speed, which is still terrifying. But I'll be getting into uh, why that actually isn't going to be too scary coming off of this thing. But yeah, if you guys want to uh, keep in touch, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I'll be giving you guys moveset guides for all these brand new Pokemon that have just been released. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Regieleki, one of the most interesting Regis we've seen pretty much ever. Um, uh, by the way, the Reggie Draco video will be out tomorrow, but Regieleki, <laughs> very interesting. The stats are 80 base HP, 100 base attack, 50 defense, 100 special attack, 50 special defense, and 200 speed. Literally the fastest Pokemon ever, period. Faster than Deoxys speed. I actually completely called that speed stat. People are like, nah, they'll never make it 200 speed. It'd be absolutely busted. Look at Tapu Koko. But no, I, I mean, th this is how they fixed it. It has very little coverage. It has literally normal, dark, and electric coverage. It might be missing one, but its dark coverage is assurance, and that isn't very good. This thing is disgustingly bad in, in that sense, but I think we can make it work. So I have two movesets for you guys today, and you can tell Pokemon's wacky when you have to run a rash nature on it. So this thing is going to be running 228 attack, 252 special attack with a special attack boosting nature, a rash nature in particular. It's going to decrease your special defense. Uh, and 28 speed. Why 28 speed? Why not max speed on this thing? You only need 28 speed to outspeed Timid Max Speed Feromosa, the the next most relevant fast Pokemon. You only need 28 speed to outspeed Timid Max Speed Feromosa, which is disgusting. This thing is like leagues ahead of any other Pokemon. Uh, and honestly, most of that speed goes to waste in a way, um, because you get diminishing returns when it comes to speed. I've been meaning to talk about this for a while. When it comes to speed in Pokemon, you get diminishing returns the higher it gets. So at 100 base speed, you're outspeeding a pretty much the majority of Pokemon, you're a very decent speed tier, right? At 110 speed, you're outspeeding another decent chunk of Pokemon, you're even more threatening. At 120 speed, you're outspeeding like 30 more Pokemon. At 150 speed, you outsped like 6 more Pokemon, and at 200, congrats, you're the fastest Pokemon, you outsped one more. It, there isn't much there. So the only good thing that comes out of it is we can actually just take those EVs and make it a solid mixed attacker. Um, this thing is going to be running Electro Ball, Rising Voltage, Extreme Speed, and Protect with a Life Orb. This is pretty much as offensive as it's going to get. Uh, Electro Ball is actually a really interesting move. It uh, The base power is determined by comparing your speed stat and your opponent's speed stat, whatever the target is. I actually have it pulled up right here. So if your opponent's speed stat is more than 100% of your speed, which is never going to happen with this thing, um, or exactly 100, it's 40 base power. If they are anywhere between 50% of your base speed to 100% of your base speed, it's 60 base power. If they are 30% of your speed to 50% of your speed, it's 80 base power. If they are a quarter of your speed to a third of your speed, 120 base power. And if they are less than a quarter of your speed, less than 25%, it's 150 base power. Which, if you want to throw out an Electro Ball to stack attack, it's not going to want to take that. Especially with its new ability Transistor, which is essentially uh, an ability that gives you a 50% bonus on all electric moves. Now, you might be thinking, oh, okay, so it's like, you know, it's it's like it has uh, double the power that a normal stab move is. Well, actually, not really. If you do the math, because you have stab on electric moves, that's a 50% boost to it. And because uh, you have transistor on it, which is a 1.5 times boost once more, that actually comes out to 2.25 uh, times base power. So if you're able to get the max power on your electro ball, let's say you hit that 150, then 150 times 2.25 comes out to an absolutely massive 337.5 base power move. So your max moves are going to be in the ballpark of that as well. It's going to be hitting like 140 base power. That thing is nasty. Uh, extreme speed and rising voltage. Why do we have those moves on here? Well, we have rising voltage because if you're going to dynamax this thing, which I wouldn't recommend personally, it's not that strong. Uh, if you're going to dynamax this thing, you're going to set up electric train, or you could take advantage of a partner's electric train or your opponent's electric train and be able to hit things with double base power rising voltage, which is always super strong. Uh, see Raichu, see Pinkurchin. 
Uh, you're also running extreme speed because that's like the only other move you're going to get. If you can't hit a ground type, hit it with extreme speed instead. It's like the only other move it gets here. Uh, so yeah, that's where the 228 attack is going. You're going to be using it for extreme speed, which also turns into max strike, which is, you know, a relatively strong move. It's also a priority move, the fastest priority move, um, I think, besides like fake out and stuff. Uh, so you're going to be hitting things with that. Uh, protect is just there because you're going to want to protect occasionally to scout for moves. It's, it's a very... It's a strange Pokemon. They really nerfed it by giving it such bad move pools. Like, it gets pretty much no moves besides electric and extreme speed. <laughs> it, it's so bad. Uh, however, there was another way of using it that honestly might be super solid. Here's here's my move set. Here's my like little Frankenstein of a move set. We're going to be running a light clay support set. This thing is running pretty much the exact same AVs, except it's running a modest nature with that 228, moving it from attack to HP, 252 special attack, 28, eight, er, 28 speed, once again, to outspeed pretty much everything. Uh, and you're going to be running Screech, Rising Voltage, Light Screen, and Reflect. The reason I went Rising Voltage is just because it's a bit more reliable than Electro Ball. Um, you're going to be hitting things for more damage overall most of the time, I think. And if you Dynamax this thing, then yeah, you're going to be hitting things pretty hard. Uh, our final two moves, Light Screen and Reflect. With the Light Clay, you're going to be able to get eight turns of decreased damage on your side of the field. And because you're so fast, you're going to be getting that off pretty much every single game. It's very difficult to get it off. Uh, it's very difficult to uh, stop you from getting it off. And the reason we're running Screech is because you're so fast, you'll be able to support a strong physical attacker, C. Landris, uh, by hopefully landing a Screech. It's only 85% accuracy, but cutting your opponent's defense in half, and then you'll be able to hit them with a very powerful max move, maybe a max airstream, maybe a max quake, and just do massive damage. So yeah, that's like the only other move set I could really come up with it. I suppose you could run like Choice Specs or Choice Band, but I really wouldn't recommend it. Uh, it's not a very, it's not a very reliable Pokemon in that sense. So let's go ahead and get into Partners. Now, this thing is interesting. Like I said, Screech is really reliable for helping out those uh, physical attackers like Landris. And on top of that, Landris actually helps you check the uh, opposing ground types that uh, you wouldn't be able to hit very hard. Uh, ground types like, well, I guess Landris itself is something you, you know, wouldn't be able to beat. But ground types like Excadrill, Landris will be able to beat. Uh, you'll also be able to, it'll also be able to intimidate other things. Uh, it'll be able to cycle and then intimidate, it'll be able to spam max airstream, take advantage of the decreased defenses, and just be a generally solid partner. Uh, next up we have Amoongus, which Regieleki helps it in the sense that it'll be able to take out those Pokemon that Amoongus does not want to deal with. Same with the other two grass types I have here, Rillaboom and uh, Tapu Bulu. It'll be able to deal with the flying types that this thing does not want to have to deal with, and that's actually a really solid option for it. On top of that, Amoongus can redirect hits from it. If you want to Dynamax your Regieleki, you'll be able to go for those max lightnings uh, uninterrupted pretty much and just have those attacks be follow me or rage powdered into the Amoongus. Next partner is Tapu Koko, which if you're running Rising Voltage on this thing, it's going to be a very powerful Rising Voltage if there's a Tapu Koko next to it. Tapu Koko will set up Electric Terrain, allowing you to spam Rising Voltage with... Let, let's let's do this math. Let's do this math. So if we look at Rising Voltage, I'm, I'm going to do the math here right here. So Rising Voltage is base 70 power, two times base power if the opponent is, <laughs> is on Electric Terrain. So that's 70 times two because we're multiplying the base power, which brings us to 140. If we multiply that by the stab bonus, as well as transistor, as well, or I guess not electric train because the electric train is already included, uh, that is 315 base power on your rising voltage, which is gross. That is an absolutely gross amount of base power on a move, not dependent on speed. So yeah, uh, very powerful move <laughs> coming out from that thing. The only downside is you're going to be having two electric types in the field, which do not want to take an earthquake. Next partner is going to be Incineroar. Regieleki is supported by the fact that this thing is an Intimidator as well as a good Fake Out user, and it's weak to water types, so Regieleki will be able to deal with those water types for it by spamming Rising Voltage or Electro Ball at them, uh, and just deal with them pretty well. Uh, once again, these two Grass types, they enjoy Regieleki scaring away Flying types, uh, as well as the fact that those two actually set up Grassy Terrain, which will decrease the power of Earthquake, uh, which Regieleki is weak to. So yeah. Reggie, I like a very interesting Pokemon. I don't see it being too strong in the format. It'll be a very niche pick, uh, but I think that if you're going to use it in any way, shape, or form, you're better off using it as a support Pokemon. High-speed Pokemon generally do well as supports. See my Thievil videos. <laughs> Also, uh, later on today, I'm going to be uploading my first VGC Series 7 laddering session, sort of. I actually just go ahead and went on, I, I went ahead and went on the um, casual battle server, or casual battle ladder, uh, and just faced, I recorded any battles I've faced uh, against 
other people using Series 7 teams. So yeah, uh, be sure to check that out. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed and if you want to get that Reggie Drago uh, moveset guide tomorrow, go ahead, subscribe, turn on notifications, join the Discord, do whatever you want, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.